प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माई चैनल द चिमनी स्वीपर बाय विलियम ब्लेक इन दिस ट्वेंटी फोर लाइन्स ऑफ विलियम ब्लेक्स पोएम द चिमनी स्वीपर अ लिटल बॉय इज टेलिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ हिज डिस्पेयरिंग लाइफ एज वेल एज द सैड टेल्स ऑफ अदर चिमनी स्वीपर बॉयज वैन माई मदर डाइड I was very young and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry weep 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 so your chimneys i sweep and in soot i sleep the little boy narrates that he was very young when his mother died he was then sold by his father to a master sweeper when his age was so tender that he could not even pronounce the word sweep and cryingly pronounced it weep and wept all the time the pun intended through the use of the word weep three times in the third line of this stanza holds pathetic significance most chimney sweeper like him were so young that they could not pronounce sweep and list weep since that tender age the little boy is sweeping the chimney and sleeping at the night in the soot smeared body without washing of the soot yahan narrator ek chhota bachcha hai vah chimney sweeper hai vah batata hai ki jab meri maa ki mrityu hui main bahut chhota tha aur mere pita ne mujhe bech diya jabki meri jeep shayad hi chilla sake वीप 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 हालांकि वह स्वीप नहीं बोल सकता है वह उसके बजाय वीप बोलता है और कहता है मैं तेरी चिमनी में सफाई करता हूँ और कालीख में सोता हूँ देयर्स लिटल टोम डेकरे हु क्राइड वैन हिज हैड दैट कल लाइक अ लैम्स बैक वॉज शेप्ड सो आई सैड हश टोम नेवर माइंड इट फॉर वैन यूर हैड्स वेयर यू नो दैट द सूट can not spoil your white hair now the chimney sweeper introduces us to his friend tom starting with how his hair that got shaved because he had white and curly hair getting dirty often when his hat gets shaved the small boy tom cries helplessly the speaker then tells us that he consoled tom and told him to stop crying and worrying about his hair because it is a good thing he will no longer have to worry about all that nasty soot getting into his hair wahan ek aur chimney sweeper hai jiska naam tom dekre hai uske sir mein sundar evam ghungrale safed baal hain uske sundar baalon ko kaat diya jata hai वह चिल्लाने लगता है नरेटर उसे सांत्वना देता है वह उसे कहता है अब उसके सिर पर बाल नहीं है इसलिए उसे चिंता नहीं करनी चाहिए अब चिमनी की कालिक उसके सफ़ेद बालों को खराब नहीं कर सकती एंड सो ही वॉज क्वाइट एंड दैट वेरी नाइट एज टोम वॉज अ स्लीपिंग ही हैड सच अ साइट दैट थाउजेंड ऑफ स्वीपर्स टिक जो नेड एंड जैक were all of them locked up in coffins of black here the speaker further explains that on the same night his friend tom saw a strange dream he saw a lot of sweepers probably thousand of them locked up in some black coffins and the names were written on the few of them such as dick joe ned and jack black coffins refer to the black suit how every chimney sweeper is covered in black suit around the world and how every chimney sweeper is the same this is how chimney sweepers sleep as well covered in suit chimney sweeper boy ke samjhane ke baad tom ne chillana band kar diya vah chup tha aur usi raat jab tom so raha tha तो उसने एक सपना देखा कि हजारों स्वीपर डिक जो नेड और जैक 
उन सभी को काले रंग के ताबूतों में बंद कर दिया गया था एंड द बाय केम एन एंजल हु हैड अ ब्राइट की एंड ही ओपन द कॉफिन्स एंड सेट देम ऑल फ्री देन डाउन अ ग्रीन प्लेन लीपिंग लाफिंग दे रन एंड वॉश इन अ रिवर एंड शाइन इन द सन In this stanza an angel who was carrying a shining key came near the coffins the angel opened the coffins containing the bodies and set all the bodies free from the bondage of coffins the freed little sweepers of the chimney ran down a green ground washed in the water of a river and dried themselves in the sunlight to give out a clean shine tom sapne mein dekhta hai ki uske paas ek angel aaya jiske paas ek chamkeeli chabi thi aur usne taabuton ko khol kar sab ko swatantra kar diya fir ek hare maidan mein koodte hue ve haste hue doorte hain aur nadi mein snan karte hain apne sharir ki gandagi ko saaf karte hain aur dhoop mein chamakte hain then naked and white all their bags left behind they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind and the angel told tom if it be a good boy he'd have god for his father and never want joy the little boy continues narrating the dream vision of tom that all the sweepers are clean naked and flying on the clouds they are playing in the wind as if they are finally free of all that burden of working the angel told tom that if he would be a good boy he would have god for his father and there would never be a lack of happiness for him tom dekhta hai ki ve nagn aur safed dikh rahe hain unke sab thaile piche chhut gaye वे बादलों पर सवार हो गए हैं और हवा के बीच खेल रहे हैं एंजल ने टॉम से कहा अगर वह एक अच्छा लड़का होगा तो उसके पास अपने पिता के लिए भगवान होगा वह उसे सुरक्षा और समृद्धि देंगे जिसके द्वारा वह जीवन में कभी भी दुखी नहीं रहेगा एंड सो टॉम अवोक एंड वी रोज इन द डार्क एंड गोट विथ आवर बैग्स एंड आवर ब्रशेज टू वर्क दो द मॉर्निंग वॉज कोल्ड टोम वॉज हैप्पी एंड वार्म सो आई फॉल टू दियर ड्यूटी दे नीड नोट फियर हार्म इन द लास्ट स्टेंजा ऑफ ब्लैक्स पोएम द चिमनी स्वीपर द नरेटर टेल्स दैट टोम वॉक अप एंड हिज ड्रीम विजन ब्रोक अप टोम एंड अदर लिटल स्वीपर बॉयज रोज अप फ्रॉम दियर बैड्स इन द डार्क they made themselves ready to work taking their bags for suit and the brushes to clean the chimney the morning was cold but tom after the dream was feeling warm and happy tom thinks that if will work hard everything will be good and he will get all his desires tom jaag gaya हम अंधेरे में उठे और अपने थैले और ब्रश लिए हुए काम पर लग गए हालांकि सुबह ठंड थी टॉम खुश और गर्म था टॉम सोचता है कि अगर वह कड़ी मेहनत करेगा तो सब कुछ अच्छा होगा तो उन्हें नुकसान से डरने की जरूरत नहीं है एजिटेशन गेव बर्थ टू दिस पोएम द एजिटेशन इन ब्लैक्स टाइम अगेंस्ट द एम्प्लॉयमेंट of children as chimney sweepers the agitators demanded the passing of laws against this inhuman practice the speaker in this poem is a small child who is himself a chimney sweeper hence the point of view is that of an innocent child and the child accepts without protest the appalling situation that he is caught in the pathetic and sad state of a child who was sold to be used as a chimney sweeper even before the could learn to speak the word sweep correctly is heart rending the pathos is reinforced when the speaker says that he sleeps in the suit children are innocent and meek like lambs 
the children who worked as chimney sweepers were shaved the implicit comparison is with the lamp shown of its wool the meek lamp cannot protest it has to accept what is done to it so like the lamp the child also has to meekly accept there is biting irony in line 8 when the speaker says that the suit of the chimneys cannot spoil a tonsured head the spirit of acceptance may be noted in tom's dream in the third fourth and fifth stanzas a chimney sweeper is like a body in a coffin as a child is innocent an angel sets him free so that he can wash himself clean and enjoy himself in the green plains in the sun in tom's dream the angel tells him that he could enjoy endlessly if he is a good boy god would be his father his protector but this is only a dream when tom woke up it was business as usual they had to get back to sweeping chimneys in sw- in spite of the cold and discomfort tom was happy because he had learnt that doing his du- duty was its own reward the conclusion of the poem is rather strange and unexpected but the poem as a whole is an exposure of a bad and evil system in those days